My First Legends, The Story of Blue Bonnet by Tommy DePaola Many years ago, there lived a young Comanche girl named She Who Is Alone. The girl's only friend was a doll her parents had given to her. It had beaded pants and a headband of the bluest feathers. She who was alone loved the doll very much. Life was hard for she who was alone's people. There was no rain and the land was very dry. Each night the people prayed for help. They danced and beat their drums, but still no rain came. The tribe's wisest man spoke to the people. I have heard the words of the great spirits. We have become selfish. We take from the earth but give nothing back. We must burn the most valued item among us and offer the ashes to the winds. This will please the great spirits and the rain will return to our land. I am sure they do not want my bow, said one man. Or my special blanket, a woman added. The people went to their teepees. They needed to think about what the great spirits had asked of them. But she who was alone did not need to think. She held her doll tightly to her heart and said, You are what I love the most. I am sure it is you who the great spirits want. She who was alone waited until the people were asleep. Then, gathering twigs, she made a fire. Great spirits, she said, here is my most valued possession. It is the only thing I have for my family. Please accept it. And before she could change her mind, she who is alone placed her doll on the fire. She who is alone watched until the flames died and the ashes grew cold. She offered the ashes to the winds and then fell asleep next to the remains of the fire. When she awoke, she who is alone saw an amazing sight. Everywhere the ashes had fallen were beautiful flowers. They were as blue as the feathers on her doll. Soon the people awoke and saw the flowers. As they sang and danced, a warm rain began to fall. Then the people knew that the great spirits were pleased by the girl's sacrifice. From that day on, she who was alone was known by another name, one who dearly loved her people. And that is how the blue bonnet flower came to the land we now call Texas.